One other thing I found really, really powerful um, recently uh, was that shaitan has a specific sort of tactic when we go through difficulty. All right. Um, when we when when shaitan sees that we are in distress, shaitan will do um, one of his tactics in order to paralyze us further is to remind us of the difficulty to, to sort of he wants to exaggerate those the pain itself. So sometimes shaitan will actually try to bring us down through a lot of negative thoughts right through a lot of negative waswasa it's called so waswasa is just the whispering of shaitan where you know it, he'll put ideas in our mind and we know in the quran we ask for protection from the waswas al khannas right the one who whispers and then hides or retreats so he puts ideas in our mind and then he he retreats one of the ways he does this is that he reminds us of negativity. He reminds us of what we're afraid of. He reminds us of what we're upset about. He reminds us of what we're angry about. He uses anger a lot, uh, you know, to, to try to, to, to control us and to try to, to, to paralyze us. So negativity is one of his one of his tactics. And by focusing and reminding uh, us of the negative aspects of our experience, it enlarges it right? What you focus on grows. So it enlarges it. Now, when a difficulty, this is very deep, when a difficulty is enlarged, guess what happens? We are so focused. And this is the thing about human beings is that we can't be two places at once. Okay. Same thing with our focus. We can't focus two places at once. We can't look two places at once. We're not owls, right? <laughs> like, like if you're facing this way, you can't see what's behind you, right? You have a little bit of peripheral vision, but generally you will see only in the, in the direction that you're facing. And so what happens if you're facing your hardships and you're focusing on your hardships and you're enlarging your fears and your and your and your pain and and, and your your basically your struggle is where you're faced, where you're focused. Then it does not allow you to focus on other than that. So that means you can't really see your blessings because it might be in the periphery, it might be back here, but you're not really focused on it because you're so focused on the difficult things, the challenges, the fears, uh, the pain. But there's something else. And this is very deep. There's something else that you can't focus on because you're so focused on your challenges. And that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's very deep. So one of the tactics, very, very, you know, sort of subtle tactics of shaitan is to distract you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one of the ways to distract you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to make you see your problems as bigger than they are. And to make you see your problems as all encompassing. And then that's all there is, is this problem, is this loss, is this, is this failure. And he will exaggerate that failure for you. Oh, you are such a failure. And look at this and look at no one appreciates and no one understands. And you're all on your own. And, you know, this very um, self-victimization, he wants you to be paralyzed by that. And by doing that, he has also done one of the most harmful things, which is that he has distracted you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So by enlarging your difficulties, he has minimized the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your, in your, in your cognition, really in your, in your, in your view and in your focus. He has made you focus instead on the negative things, on the difficulties. Now, and this brings me inshallah to kind of where, where I want to wrap up, is that Allah, Allah's prescription for pain is the exact opposite. And this is something that's that's so beautiful and so powerful. I touched upon it actually on the series, on, on last week's series. When you look at the ayat, the end of Surah Al-Hijr, I believe, where, where the Prophet Sallallahu is being addressed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah is acknowledging his pain. And Allah is saying that we know that what they're saying is, 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 is making your chest feel constricted. We know that, you're, that it's hurting you. We know. Allah is saying that he recognizes the pain that is being caused to the Prophet Sallallahu by what the people are saying and what they're doing to him. 
So what does Allah do? Number one, Allah acknowledges it. And I think that to me is so beautiful because, you know, even, and, I, and, and as I mentioned before, even when you look at effective counseling, you know, when they did research about effective counseling, they found that, that when you look at all the techniques of counseling, that the vast majority, something like 70% of it, of effective counseling is simply being heard, feeling that another person understands, is listening and cares. That that actually is the most, most important uh, and effective part of counseling. This is what Allah does. Allah is the most effective counselor and Allah is high above any analogy. Allah says, we know what you're going through. We recognize your pain. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives the prescription, the cure. And, and that cure, it's so, it's so deep because it goes in, it's exactly the opposite of what shaitan does. It's exactly the opposite. So he said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَكُنْ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ So his prescription for this pain is exalt the praises of your Lord. Look at that. It's exalt Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Enlarge the place of Allah in your life. Focus on Allah and his blessings. فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ that, that, that when you exalt Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the praises of Allah. So hamd here is not just to show thanks and gratitude, but to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's basically the more you the more you make Allah bigger in your life, the smaller everything else is. Because like I said, we're human, right? We can only focus on one thing at a time, essentially, especially when it's a hyper focus. So if you make that hyper focus, the exalting of Allah, the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your life, the gratitude, the thanks, the, the praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your life, then what that does naturally is it minimizes, it, it makes it less paralyzing, it makes it, it makes it actually smaller the challenge um and be among those who prostrate themselves humility humility to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we break to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then allah he puts us back together and allah elevates us when you humble yourself to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah will elevate you when you break to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's allah who puts you back together remember allah is al-jabbar allah is the one who mends this is one of the meanings of al-jabbar 